Hello, my name is Gavin Birkenegger of the Friends of Hugh Miller Society and as part of Inverness Science Festival I would like to give you a tour of our fossil collection which I've laid out here in my garden. Okay, this collection was gifted to us by Callum Anton of Fort Rose. We're very lucky to have this collection. So we're just going to run through the specimens that we have or some of the specimens that we have. These are representative of the types of fossils that our local um, our local geologist Hugh Miller would have found back in the 1800s. That's a picture of him there. So we'll have a look here at the fishies first. These are fossilized fish. Look, Connie, look. Look at that. Look at the scales. This is, an, this is a fish that's been squashed into rock. And it's hundreds of millions of years old. Yeah. This is 360 million years old. And these yeah. these fish have been found around Thurso area. There's a little picture of what they would have looked like. And yeah. now they're in rock. Yeah. Um, okay, this way. Yeah. This way. These guys are Belmanites. They're quite recognisable. You can see they're very pointy. Yeah. You would recognise them if you saw I them on the beach. Grow. Yeah, some of them, will, well, they would be broke. But there's a little artist depiction of what these guys, mm. these are little squiddy guys, look at that. The wee tentacles mm. hanging out the end of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So these ones found around Brora area. Found this way. This is, yeah. this is a shell that you'd find on the beach today. Yeah. And this is a fossil, it's a fossilised one. Yeah, I'm it's it's hundreds of millions years old, two hundred, well, maybe over two hundred million years I'm old, and this is a local one. Water. That's an ammonite, yeah. bit of an ammonite there. So we'll come to the ammonites this way, this way. in a minute. This way, this way. Um, this way, these bits here are this corals. Bits. This piece um, I actually found. I found this at Helmsdale, fossilized coral. You can see on this piece. Um, look at the detail there, just like you would find today. And this one if you're down in the bottom of the sea. And this, one this is a slice is through a coral. You can see there's the there's the yeah. it's there. And this is a This is actually a piece of a dinosaur bone. Can you believe that? So and um this, one, and this, this is one. a fossilized wood. Yes, yeah, so we'll come round to here see these bits of fossilized wood. So this is stone, but it's wood. Which is amazing. Look at this, what the polished this? section Where here. Where is this today? So this, this is, uh, you can see the tree rings in this. You see that? And what's this? And this is, this is a, actually a piece of a monkey puzzle I found beside the road. Uh, monkey puzzles, uh, they, th they say, we look more, you know, like the, the trees that existed in dinosaur times. <laughs> but you can see the tree rings in this piece that was... This was chopped, this fell down a year ago or so. And this piece of fossilized wood is uh, a few hundred million years older. <laughs> but you can still see the tree rings in it. Here's a beautiful example of uh, some fossilized mollusks. Here, here's a, a recent one that you would find at the beach. And again, this is fossilized ones. One of my favourite ones here is this absolutely amazing specimen of of an ammonite. You can see the spiral. Uh, and this is uh, what is this? Um, wood. What's this? That's and more ammonites. These are more ammonites. You can see the this is the, the golden mean. It's locked into this, this uh, spiral here. I think I don't see. This, this is a. Uh, Look at this, this shell here, look. This is a yep. nautilus shell. Look at that. Yep. Whoa, inside. It's, it's lovely. And then this, it almost looks like it could be the same thing. This is the fossilized one. This is a, this is what you'd see on the beach. A stone like that. And look at that. Cracked open. There you go. And this kind of like... So our prized piece, our prized piece is this fish here. Look at that. Come around. 
the detail in this piece. This is a Diplocanta striatus, and this is from and Old Red Sandstone. Um, 375 million years old. Absolutely beautiful. We're very lucky to have this. And you know who found this? An eight year old boy found this at Shannery Point, which is just not far from our house. Isn't that amazing? So anyone can find it. So it's all about the luck of finding the right stone. There's a big piece here. Watch out. Look, there's a big piece of sandstone that's come from. It's come from a house. A lot of the old houses are built of old red sandstone. Yeah. So, and you can find fossils in them, so. Here's some more wee ammonites, just as a wee artist depiction of what these guys, little shrimp guys here, they were doing floating around the sea. And these are the most sort of common fossils that people would recognize, these, these sea creatures, these ammonites. So, and um, yes, one last fossil here that always gets a, a laugh. Um, we weren't sure for a long time what this thing was, so um, we had all sorts of people suggest it was maybe a beetle or a, or an alien even, but the actual fossil is just the centerpiece, and this is this is just a concretion that's happened after it. But this here, um, we're pretty sure that this is a coprolite, and that's a geologist term for poo. So this is a this is a dinosaur poo. A real dinosaur poo and I've got one of my own pieces here which is um can you believe that Connie this is a dinosaur poo you want to touch it yeah. does it smell of anything yeah. no it doesn't smell of anything anymore so anyway thank you for taking the time to view our collection sorry again that you couldn't see it in person but um, maybe again uh, next year, so thank you.